Welcome to ADDE. We always have a whole lot of interesting projects going on on the floor, but at the moment the stars have aligned and we've got about eight different projects all at the stage of completion and running on our floor. Under normal circumstances, I'd love to invite you in for a tour of the factory and show you what's going on or hold an open day and invite the crowds. But unfortunately, thanks to COVID, we can't do that at the moment. So we'd like to take you on a virtual tour of our factory and show you some of the cool projects going on at the moment. This is the second of two tray handling lines that we've built for Blackmores. Blackmores manufacture gel caps with fish oils and vitamins and the like. Their manufacturing process finishes with the caps being laid out on a tray, sitting on a tray on, on baking paper, where they, they dry for a couple of days. Our mission here is to take these trays, tip them into the hopper, take the paper away, wipe the tray down with alcohol and restack the trays upside down back onto the trolleys. The system takes six trolleys at a time, processing the trays at a rate of about one every 20 seconds. This is the second of two lines. The first one is installed and running at Blackmores now, and this machine is going to be packed up next week and installed in the next couple of weeks. Once they're both in and running, we'll be doing a video and show you the two lines in operation. For Allied Pinnacle, we're building a complete end of line packaging solution. We'll be taking these packs in a variety of formats, putting the label on them, forming the case. The robots will pack the muffins into the case, seal and tape the, the case, pass it out to the palletizer, where the two robots will form the pallets and then pass them through the stretch wrapper, put an SSC label on them, then accumulate up to four pallets on the outfeed for collection by the forklift. This machine is a small footprint, relatively low rate case packer we're building for a multinational confectionery food manufacturer. We've got about 40 seconds, so we've got time for one robot to be able to pick and form the case, pick the individual products, six of them, load them in, before we pass the case out to a SEAT taper, which closes and seals the case, and then passes it on to a zero footprint palletizer. ZFP or Zero Footprint Palletizer is our collaborative end of line palletizing solution. We're building two of them here for the same client for the case packer. The ZFP is able to pick up to seven cases per minute and around an eight kilogram case. And because it's collaborative, doesn't need any guarding, very easy to install and a very simple and effective end of line palletizing solution. This is a really interesting, unique machine we've built for Allied Pinnacle. In their donut making facility, they have a cutter which produces rows of interlocked rows of three donuts. You've got to imagine this is a donut. For the factory acceptance test, we're using discs of styrofoam rather than actual donut dough. The cutter makes rows of three donuts at a rate of about 8,000 donuts an hour. The next operation is what's called a proofer. That's where the bread or the dough rises. The proofer has a flight which can hold five donuts across. The donuts have to spend quite a bit of time in the proofer to go through the rising operation. So our mission here is to take the incoming rows of three and turn them into outgoing rows of five. We do that by kind of playing like Tetris. We've got a flex picker robot that picks up the row of three, rotates it round and places five of those rows across so that we turn an incoming five rows of three donuts into an outgoing three rows of five donuts. When you see it running, it looks really simple, but the logic and operations going on here is mind bending to coordinate between the incoming flow of donuts and the outgoing flow of flights and managing and sequencing everything in between to line them up so that they drop onto the flights is quite a mind bender of logic that's going on inside this machine. It looks simple, but it's not. I've been in the automation game for more than 35 years and throughout that whole time there's been talk of the task of 3D bin picking. We're doing it for the first time now with the latest technology of structured light 3D cameras and some software from a company called Picket. Our task here is to pick metal stampings out of a bin, a stillage, and load them into a press. There'll be a variety of parts but the camera will look into the bin find a part and give the instructions for the robot on how to pick it out. Automation projects can be large or small. This is a very simple machine for preparing a pharmaceutical product before an inspection operation where we pick the cart up, 
give it a very quick spin to get all the liquid down in the bottle before it goes into the inspection machine. ADDE is a full service automation house. We have in-house mechanical, electrical and control system engineers, machine shop, electricians, and a big factory with plenty of space to assemble even the largest of automation projects.